everybody. How's it going? It is an absolutely beautiful day here at Middle Creek. <clears throat> I am here with Miss Emmy and Allie and Aster. And you can see we're down at a different side of the goat pen because I wanted you to be able to see the chickens. You can see the chickens over my shoulder there. Last week it was very apparent that they felt like they were being left out of our reading of stories. So, it's a beautiful day outside. I've got all the doors open in the barn, the garage door is open. Absolutely beautiful. I hope you guys are enjoying this wonderful day. Today, we are going to read a book, one of my all-time favorite authors, Todd Parr, and it's a book called It's Okay to Be Different. Todd Parr writes good books, they're bright and beautiful, but they always have a really good message. Thank you for the kiss, Aster. That was very nice. No, 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 not my glasses. Okay, so, it's okay to be different. What do you have in your mouth? This one has some writing on the inside. It's okay to be different by Todd Parr. It, oh. It's okay to be missing a tooth or two or three. That was not gross. Uh, I know some people that have lost teeth recently that told me about it. It's okay to need help. Kids and adults all need help from time to time. It's okay to have a different nose. It's okay to be a different color. Look at, he's got a zebra that's like a rainbow. It's okay to have no hair. I got a haircut this week, shaved my head, had to do it, I was looking pretty scruffy. Don't lick my hat. It's okay to have big ears. Look at, I figured Aster was really gonna be interested in this one. It's okay to have wheels. I love people with wheels. It's okay to be small, medium, large, or extra large. It's okay to wear glasses. I wear glasses a lot so I can read and see and to keep the sun out of my eyes. It's okay, uh, stop, it's okay to talk about your feelings. That's a super important page. I'm gonna read that one again. It's okay to talk about your feelings. Mm, don't. It's always important to talk about your feelings. It's okay to eat macaroni and cheese in the bathtub. What? Come on. It's okay to say no to bad things. Sometimes it's hard to say no when everyone else is saying yes. <laughs> Thank you, that was lovely. It's okay to say no to bad things. That's a good one to read twice. It's, ah, no, 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 no. It's okay to be Emmy from somewhere else. <laughs> it's okay to be embarrassed. These goats some, ah, let go. It's okay to be embarrassed. <laughs> At least the chickens are being quiet. Oh, I mean, you're leaning on me. Ugh. It's okay to come in last. This is like, that was a day line in. Uh. Sometimes I like to curl up in a ball. Remember that one? Sometimes it's okay to come in last. It's okay to dance by yourself. In fact, I dance best when I'm not counting on anybody else. I, uh, I asked her, oh, you guys. You got your head down my shirt? It's okay to have a pet worm. 
It might be easier to read books <laughs> with a pet worm. Can you tell the goats are lowly this week? It's okay to be proud of yourself. This is another page that needs to be read twice. It's okay to be proud of yourself because you guys are awesome and you should be proud, where are you going, <laughs> of yourselves. It's okay to have different moms and it's okay to have different dads. It's okay to be adopted. One of my best friends growing up was adopted. Actually, two of them. Uh, it's okay to have an invisible friend. And it's okay to do something or something nice for someone. That's another page that needs to be read twice. It's okay to do something nice for someone, especially while we're all at home and with just with our family. Do something nice for your mom or your dad or your brother. Call a grandma or grandpa. Do something nice. It's okay to lose your mittens. Sometimes that happens, doesn't it? But they seem to always turn up. It's okay to get mad. That's a good one, too. It's okay to get mad. You want me to scratch your head with the book? Sometimes we get mad, and that's okay. Getting mad happens. It's not important that we get mad. It's how we handle our reactions when we get mad. We gotta try and control those things. It's okay to do something nice for yourself. Ugh. Allie, it's okay. She wants to cuddle with me. Uh, oh, and Emmy's gonna bite her. It's okay to do something nice for yourself. It's okay to help a squirrel collect nuts. Now, if that's what you want to do, that's good. It's okay to have different kinds of friends. Oh, you can never have too many friends. I like that page. It's okay to make a wish. My wish is that you guys get to come back to school soon. Oh. My favorite page. It's okay to be different. You are special and important just because of being who you are. It's okay to be different. You are special and important because of who you are. Love Todd. Todd must be a super cool dude. I like Todd's message in that book. And we're all special and we're all different and that's what makes us special huh huh girls i hope somebody must have come into the parking lot <laughs> all of a sudden there's somebody else here they're so excited when people come around there was a small group of people here this weekend and they were standing out there and miss emmy here was just running all over the place i think she thought that everybody was coming back she was so excited she was chasing Emmy and Aster, even though she's the oldest one. She's getting up there, but she was so excited. Um, once again, we miss you guys so much. Cannot wait till we get to see you back. Remember that it's okay to be different and that you're special, okay? Do something nice for somebody today and I hope that we get to see you soon. I miss you guys. Bye-bye. Oh. I don't know who it was, but somebody slobbered on my arm. And now it itches.